Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a makeup collection and vanity tour slash sort of like makeup storage video for you all. As you can probably tell, I've got a new dressing table, hence the new backdrop. I actually got it today. Um, I managed to get it from Ikea before they close all their stores because I've been in desperate need for a dressing table. I feel like I did mention that in a video not that long ago, um, but I've been put off buying one purely because we were going away to Florida and now that doesn't look like it's happening. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the dressing table that I really, really want since I'm gonna be stuck in this room for quite a while. This is the mesh dressing table, I believe, and it cost me 75 pounds, which I thought was absolutely Absolutely amazing it comes with a glass top which is really really good for me because I always spill my makeup it's a lot bigger than the one I had and it actually holds a lot more believe it or not considering it's only got one drawer the drawer is huge anyway I am babbling I'm gonna get into the video I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so first off I just wanted to show you guys a overview of the dressing table how it looks um, within my room so it's actually really big I actually had plans to have the dressing table over there but it just it didn't work and I had to have it here um, but I do love the fact that it's bigger because I can put a lot more on there but it can also look a lot more spacious in my room which is something that I really really wanted now the dressing table itself I believe was 75 pounds now it's originally 95 um, but it was on sale and luckily they still had it in my local Ikea. Um, now the great thing I love about this is it comes with a glass top which is perfect for people like me that spill your makeup all the time because you can simply just wipe it off. Okay so within the first corner I have a few little skincare and favourite makeup products of the minute. I'm currently using that little plate as like a favourites of the moment sort of thing and then I've also got a Yankee candle on the go. So the products I have over here is the Lacura Healthy Glow. Now this is a exfoliating toner and you guys actually might recognise this. It looks very similar to the Pixie Glow toner and I actually really really like this. It smells really good as well so I like to have that one on reach. I also have the Bioderma Micellar Water. This is just a mini one um, that I picked up when I was in Paris in December. I got a couple of these um, and I actually really really like it it's literally the best thing that I've ever used to take my makeup off so that's the one I'm currently using and that's why it's easily reachable over here and then I also have my favourite lipstick of the minute this is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW um, and it is honestly just the perfect nude so this is what it looks like it's honestly just the most gorgeous nude colour as you can see it's got the little lipstick imprint there um, and I've literally been wearing this non-stop I currently have it on today and I absolutely love it. On, so the candle I've got burning is the Yankee candle and this one is in strawberry and lemon ice now I really really like this this is part of the Sunday brunch collection I think they did um, but it's absolutely huge so it's taken me forever to get through and I actually bought it um, like I want to say like end of autumn last year in the sale so um, I'm getting it out now because it's like the perfect sort of spring summer scent just to spread a bit of positivity in my room but I honestly really really like this scent and it just smells amazing and I feel like a candle on in the room just feels safe and warm and I love it. So moving on I've got my little tray of perfumes now the tray itself is from my Ikea. I also forgot to mention that the tray holding all of the little um, favourite products of the minute is also from Ikea. Now this was bought relatively recently so they might still have this in stock but I really really like it and like I said I'm just holding all of my perfumes on it. Now these are the perfumes that I own. I do obviously have quite a lot of body sprays and stuff but they are in a separate container which I will move on to later on in the video. So over here I've got the Giorgi Armani one. I really really like this. Um, this one literally reminds me of sick form because I used to wear it every single day when I went. I've also got the Davidoff Cool Water. I've got Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger which is a really lovely one. My all time favourite which is Poison Girl by Dior. I love this one. It smells amazing um, and I wanted it for so long and then my godmother bought this for my birthday for my 18th so it's a really really special one as well. Over here I've got the Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty. I love this one. I've also got a DKNY perfume. This one is the Floral Blossom or fresh blossom I think that is delicious scent and again I really really like this one Moving on, I've then got more sort of like makeup brush and storage area. These two pots here, now they do look like the Ikea Oscura pots, but they're actually plant pots from B&M. And I love the colour, the colour goes really, really well with the blues in my room. Um, so in this one, I've got makeup brushes, and then in this one, I've got sort of hair brushes and stuff. So I've got a basic one here, I've got some combs back there. Um, and then I also have the Bold Unique um, Tangle Teaser, which they very kindly sent me. As for makeup brushes, I don't want to go individually into each one 
one because the majority of them are from Real Techniques. Um, but I have the Real Techniques limited edition uh, like glitter collection. So this is like a contour brush that I love. Um, Real Techniques limited edition collection. This was like the original one. Um, Real Techniques uh, original like bold classics collection. Um, What's here? Real Techniques lip brush. Got Real Techniques. Oh, I love this one. This is the highlighter brush. This is so, so nice. Anyone wanting to know where the best place to get Real Technique brushes is, it's TK Maxx. They're so cheap. I literally picked this one up for like £4.99 when it's usually like £20. It's really, really good. Um, I literally got the majority of my brushes in there. A Beauty Bakery one here. This is just like a powder one. Also, got some of the Real Technique Bold Metals collection here. So this is the blush brush, which hasn't really been used, to be honest. Moving on over here, I've then got some more sort of like makeup y storage bits so the first thing I've got on top is a candle this is the Olivia Blake one in pink melon and mint um, and the pink melon and the strawberry lemon ice actually go really really well together as a combo so I love burning them on top of here I just have my jewelry box so this I believe was from B&M and I love the color the color goes with a lot of my room kind of like a bit of like a messy container um so I've got um some spot cream in here this is just like the t-zone one I love um I've got a bunch of hair bands um and a few jewelry accessories um and then I've got my favorite jewelry as well so I've got my Tiffany bracelet here which I love it's so nice I got this from um, my boyfriend for my 18th on top of here I have this little three drawer container now I actually bought this from B&M it was like three pounds um and I used to store a lot of makeup in here but nowadays I just put a few random bits and bobs in so the first one I've got is a bunch of cotton pads. It's basically just where I keep them and where I fill them up. So here I have a bunch of few random little bits. So I've got a Nivea lip butter. Um, I've got a bourgeois nail polish and then I've also just got a Primark top and base coat. And in the final drawer I've just got some, um, these are like lash brushes. Um, obviously you guys know that I get lash extensions so these are just lash brushes from Poundland. Um, there's like a few different like shapes and things here and um, this isn't part of my makeup storage but I always just love to have a bunch of flowers now I'm very lucky that my boyfriend will treat me to flowers um, so there's actually two bunches in here um, but I just like to keep them here they make the room look bright they make the room smell good um, and I don't know I love being around fresh flowers and things like that okay so on the left side of my table this is pretty much the messy side it's a bit of everything we've got skincare we've got tan we've got eyeshadow palettes it's a bit crazy. The first thing I've got here is just a tanning mitt. This is just the Bondi Sands one. It's reusable. That's why I love it. Um, recently ordered, hasn't been used yet, hence why it is still in the packaging. Then down here, I've just got a freshly washed muslin cloth ready to be used whenever I need to use it. Um, and then I've got a bunch of face and hair masks down here. So I've got some Lee Stafford hot chalk shots. These are like heated treatments for your hair. I've got a Primark face mask. I've got a NS spa is it n spa something like that face mask um and then i've also underneath here got a hand mask i've then got some e45 lotion i literally swear by this stuff next to that i've then got my Bior baking soda at the minute i'm currently using up my bioderm my cellar water but when i don't use that i'll use this one which i actually do really like it does remove your makeup very very quickly and very easily and i've got a few potted products here so the first thing i've got is the liqueur charcoal clearing mud mask I've then got another liqueur product this is the facial cream and it's the 24 hour hydration and protection it's meant to be a dupe for a Kiehl's moisturiser but it smells amazing and I absolutely love this stuff. And then my go-to moisturiser down here is the Soap & Glory Beauty Seep Accelerator. This is the Night & Flight Moisture Miracle. This smells incredible. It literally just smells like fruit juice. You can see I've used a lot of it. Right at the back I have a sort of natural nudes palette. I think this is from Primark but I don't reach for that one as much so I sort of keep that one at the bottom. Next there I've just got some spare cotton pads as well. Then some of the eyeshadow palettes I've got here. Yeah, the first one is a Revolution Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. I got this one for Christmas. Um, I've got the NYX Contour Palette, which is really, really pretty. Although I haven't tried it out yet, so I need to give that one a go. And I've also got the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. This is absolutely gorgeous. My best friend got me this for Christmas. And look how pretty that is. So, so nice. And we've then got my lipsticks. Now, again, like I said, this is kept in a glossy box lid. Um, and in here, I've just got a bunch of lipsticks. First off, I've just got my uh, Charlotte Tilbury box for my Kim KW. I just keep it here because I'm a bit of a box hoarder. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I buy a high-end product, I always love to keep the boxes. I don't know what it is. got some MAC ones here. So I've got three regular MAC ones, and then I've got a limited edition Troll one. So the Troll one is in Sushi K. 
kiss and this is such a pretty like peachy orange color it's really really nice i have please me which is this really gorgeous pink although it's sort of smudged it's a bit broken which is really sad because i love this one I've then got spice it up which is a really nice sort of like ready nude colour if you can see, um, it's a luster lipstick that one, and then I've got Well which is another one of my all time favourite everyday lipsticks, this is a matte one um, and it's just a really gorgeous nude colour. Some more ones back here, um, I've got a body shop one here which I love, I got this for Christmas, um, again a really nice pretty nude shade, it's got a bit of shimmer to it as well, and this is in the shade Champagne Dusk. Another Rimmel lipstick, this one is a Rimmel Cake one in 1110 which is this really nice sort of like ready colour, almost sort of like matches my nails. Very, very nice. I think I wore this to a wedding once actually. I've got a Primark one and then I've also got this random one from a brand in Tenerife. Now I use this sparingly because I love it but I don't know if I'll ever go back and grab it. Um, but it's just a really, really nice nude colour. It's very similar to Velvet Teddy which I did used to have but I sadly lost. Here I just have some lip glosses. So I've got a clear sort of glitter revolution one. I've got a Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in in King K. I've got a Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick here. This is plumps up um, and I really really love a Sexy Mother Pucker. They really do puck up your lips. I've then got my all time favourite lip gloss. This is from Revolution and it's in the shade Rose Quartz and it is honestly the most prettiest colour. It's just, it's like the perfect lip glaze. I've then got a Rimmel Stay Matte. I've got a MAC Lip Glass. This is a Oh Sweetie like special edition one in the shade Sugar Cookie. Again, it's the perfect sort of lip topper. Then have the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Colour Sensational Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Nude Thrill. Again, absolutely love this. I've got a really nice plum colour and then a bright red. Um, and then just down here I then have a Maybelline lipstick in the shade Coffee Crate. And at the back I literally just have my tan if you can see them poking out there. So the tan that I use um, on a more regular basis is the Saint Tropez Gradual Tinted Moisturiser. Now you guys know that I'm very pale. I don't have any tan on at the minute. So pretty much anything is going to give me a bit of colour and I can literally use this and overnight it comes out like a really nice natural tan on me. So I love to use this on holiday. And then at the back there, I then have a St. Moritz. If you guys can see that, it's a dark XL pack. Over here, I've then got a bunch of brow and eye stuff. Now, because I get lash extensions, I don't have loads of eye products. Um, but I do have a few. And obviously, with everything going on, I'm not going to be getting my lashes done anytime soon. So I'm going to have to start looking back into these products again. So for my brow products, my go-to is, of course, the Gimme Brow by Benefit. So I've got a full size here in shade 3. And then I've also got a mini, which oh, I just love this. It is my favourite product. It brushes out really nicely. Um, and I just think it gives really nice, natural-looking brows. Then have a brow archery by Soap and Glory. This is in the shade Mocker Your Mind. Again, a really nice one. Have a mini of the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Again, this is amazing if you get your brows tinted because it's clear, but again, holds them in place really well. I've got a bunch of glitter glue. So I've got a Revolution one, another Revolution one. Um, I've got my Duo Lash Glue here, which is incredible if you use false lashes. Um, I've got a glitter liner by NYX. I actually bought this for Halloween, but it's never been used. You can see it's in the packaging but really pretty. I've got a shimmer eyeshadow. This is actually from Poundland in shade Autumn. Absolutely incredible. Again, if you can get your hands on it, give it a go. Literally a pound. More glue. So this is Face Glue by Topshop. Um, I've got a glitter liner from Revolution. Really pretty, but I've never actually worn that out anywhere. I've got a white eyeliner by Primark. Um, what's this? A liquid eyeshadow from... Bella Pierre Cosmetics, I think I'm pronouncing that. Again, I got this in a glossy box. I've got my all-time favourite liner. This is the Maybelline Precise All Day Felt Tip. Um, this is really, really nice, but I do need to get a new one. Um, it's actually on its way. Um, it hasn't come ready for the video, but I have ordered a new one of these. Okay, so moving on, I have all of my concealers in here. I have like liquid illuminators and I have some primers. First off, I've got this Sephora one. This is literally just like a standard concealer. Um, this Honestly, I think I bought this because it was my first ever Sephora product. I got it in Krakow in Poland last year. Um, but it is just a really nice sort of like light coverage concealer. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer concealer. Now, this one is a really nice one. It's got a little bit left in there. It's perfect if you 
really want full coverage. So I've got my favourite drugstore concealer, which is the Eraser Under Eye Concealer by Maybelline. Now this literally looks disgusting, but it's amazing and I love it. And it's always my go-to for any drugstore concealer. I've got my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Again, I really, really love this one. I've got a mini of the Benefit Professional. Um, actually, I think this might be like a medium size. I've then got a liquid illuminator. This is from Liquora. I think it's meant to be a dupe. I actually applied this into a moisturiser before or like a really really light coverage foundation and I really like it. Here I just have a Too Faced Shadow Insurance eyeshadow primer and got this Zoeva highlighter. This is like a liquid strobe gel um, and this is in the shade Halo. It's literally like jelly. I have a, I think this is Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. This is an anti-redness concealer and I do get quite a lot of redness so I do really really like this one. I have an Aqua, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the Glass Glow Illuminator. I really, really love this stuff. This is so nice to wear as a base, um, almost like a primer. I love using this when it's sunny out. And then here, this is actually a new product, which I haven't tried yet. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Chantilly, I believe. But I'm really excited to give this a go because I've heard loads about it. Moving on, in this container, this is all foundations and setting sprays. Begin with down here, I've got my all-time favourite foundation. You guys know it's the NYX Born to Glow. I actually have two of these. The best foundation I've ever used, hence why I've got two. It's a Primark foundation, this is the PS My Perfect Colour Perfect Finish Foundation, this is literally £2.50 and you can see I don't have that much left of it because I used to live off this stuff. Next I've got my MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation, it's a little bit dirty actually, I probably should have cleaned that before this video, at least you guys know that this is realistic. Continue this foundation but I wish they didn't because it's absolutely amazing but you can still find it in some beauty outlets so if you can get hold of it please please give it a go. Then have a Kevin Aqua foundation. This is the Effortless Skin Illuminating Foundation. Very expensive but absolutely gorgeous. As you can see it's quite dark, um, significantly darker than my skin tone. I tend to use this one when I'm tanning or occasionally I will mix it in with the NYX. I just have my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 setting spray. At the back here I also have a small sample of the MAC Prep and Prime. I have tried this before and it's incredible. I do need to get another full size of this very soon. Now this one is a weird one. Um, I can assure you I don't have a simple foundation. This is actually NARS Sheer Glow. But my Nars Sheer goes smashed and I try to save her as much as I could and put it in this little pot. So this is Nars Sheer Glow Mont Blanc. Of course in this section here I have all of my powders, my highlighters, my bronzers and my blushes. First off here I've got my all time favourite baking powder. This is the Huda Beauty Baking Powder in Pound Cake. I absolutely love this. I've then got the W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow Bronze and Highlight. Now this is actually a dupe for one of the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow duos. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Inside here I've then got some W7 products. So these are the Glow Commotion highlighter and eyeshadows. And you can see here the blush palette. This is from Beauty Bakery and it's a piece of cake. I used to use this shade here every single day as my everyday blush at one point and I just I love this palette. So if you can get your hand on it, really really good value for money and it honestly is so pigmented. I've got some benefit products. I've got is Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. This is quite old now. I've had this for about two or three years. Um, I think I got it for Christmas just when it came out and you can see it's very well used but it's really nice if you like a subtle highlighter and down here I've also got a mini of the Hoola by Benefit um, now this is going a bit gross now but you guys know I always recommend the minis by Benefit because they're so cheap and they really do last a long time I've got my all-time favorite highlighter this is the Revolution Reloaded in Dare to Divulge you can see I've hit crazy pound on it but it's literally sold out everywhere. Three pounds and it's my go-to. I will never ever stop raving about this. My favourite pressed powder and this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in the shade Light Plus and it's just honestly if you haven't tried it it's the best powder it keeps your makeup going all day and I just love it it doesn't cake either which is always a plus my everyday blush so this is actually a highlight from Safe and Glory it's the glow all out in the shade shimmer switch but you will learn to see that it is quite pink 
um, so I love to use it as a blush and as you guys know I love highlighting so it gives me that extra bit of glow as well. Side here I've then got two of these, um, this is the Cushion Foundation the Fresh Nude one from Body Shop, um, it's in the shade Honey 04 so it's quite dark but I love using this when I tan and when I'm on holiday so I've got two of those. And down the side I have another baking powder, this is the Flower Baking Powder by Beauty Bakery um, in the shade Yellow, this is a really really nice one and then also down the side like I said I have the W7 highlighter. Okay, now at the back of all of my products, I've got loads and loads of eyeshadow palettes. Now they're a little bit hidden behind because it's the only place I could keep them, but I'm gonna try and fish them out and I'm gonna take you through all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have. Start with my high-end ones. So the first one I've got is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. Now this is my first and only naked palette. Um, my best friend got me this for my 18th and it is honestly the most gorgeous palette. I'm gonna cover up the mirror just so it doesn't blind you guys, but it's so pretty. And I then have the Too Faced Extra Spicy Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this has still got the box on it. I have used it a few times, but I just love the packaging. Now, if you guys watched my What I Got For Christmas haul, I'll link it down below. You guys will recognise a few of these products in here. This one was actually what my sister got me. Um, and it's honestly so, so gorgeous. I'm just going to show you, and again, cover up the mirror, the most prettiest shades. And they literally smell like gingerbread. Like, they are gingerbread scented. And then my other high-end product is the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette um, and this is in the palette Daydream. Now I've had this for a really long time, some of my friends got me this I think for my 16th birthday um, and it's got a really lovely size mirror, it's so dirty because you can see I've used it so much but it's got five shades, three of them I've hit pan on, it's perfect for travelling, I always take this on holiday with me, bunch of W7 palettes. Now if you haven't tried any W7, please do give them a go because they are dupes for so many high-end brands. This one here is W7 on the rocks, um, so this has got some really lovely sort of like autumnal colours in. Next we have Delicious, um, this is a dupe for the modern renaissance palette that Anastasia does. And as you can see, the colours are very similar and they're also very, very pigmented. This is a dupe for a Huda Beauty one. And again, it's got the gorgeous sort of like classic purple shades there. Really, really nice for nights out. Again, so messy because I've used it. And then my final W7 palette is the Socialite palette. Now this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette that I'm sure you're all aware of. And look how gorgeous it is. The glitters are absolutely insane. Again, you can see how much I've pressed into the glitters because they're so nice. Just so pigmented um, and they're so cheap as well. So do have a look on the W7 website. Actually, this one might be my favourite. A Revolution palette. Now, I used to have so many of these. But like I said, when I did my huge makeup clear out, I got rid of a lot of them that I didn't use. But this one used to be a holy grail for me. And I still use it to this day. Now, it was actually a limited edition glitter Christmas palette they did about two or three years ago. Really nice colours. As you can see I've hit pan on a couple um, and it's got a really lovely full size mirror but they're just really lovely neutral colours and they're all very very pigmented. And then finally I have some Soap and Glory palettes. Now again I got these for Christmas from my parents um, which were featured in my What I Got For Christmas video. First one I've got is the Ultimate Matte Collection um, and this is just a really nice sort of like matte neutral colours with a really lovely mirror. You kick it into neutral palette which is just full of neutral shades. Now as you can see the plastic's still on it, I haven't actually ventured out with this one yet but it's got some really really lovely colours in there and some really lovely names as well like Fairy Light, Cuddle Bear. In this video it's made me want to do my makeup, I may just have to sit down and do my makeup. Okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, let me know down below in the comments what you thought, um, any of the makeup products that I have that maybe you do or that you want to try, leave me some video recommendations and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one.